Kia ora folks, this question is about two race cars. Car A um, is travelling at constant speed of 45 metres per second. I mean that's fast, it's about 160 kilometres per hour. But it's at constant speed and there's no acceleration. Car B on the other hand hasn't taken off just yet. So car A is, 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 is at constant speed but just as it, as it passes car, car B, car B begins to accelerate. So remember that car A is traveling along at constant speed. So the question in the physics problem is when will car B catch up to car A and how long will it take to do that? So the first thing to um, sort out is that we know that the distance, the catch up distance is basically going to be dA is equal to dB. This is what we call the catch up distance. We know that because there's got to be a certain time and distance when the two cars actually meet together and that's what we're going to ca uh, calculate. Now, so let's just have a look at the data here. Car A is at 45 meters per second going that way and car B is at 0 meters per second, that's its initial velocity. Um, this car here has no no acceleration, but this car here is accelerating. So the first thing to do, I suppose, is that the distance of the car um, of car A will be v times t. So the velocity is 45, and we we don't know the the time yet. And the distance of this car um, of B is going to be vit plus half at squared. Why I use this kinematic equation is because the acceleration uh, is constant and it is not zero. So we know that if the acceleration is constant um, and um, there is an acceleration within the equation then we have to use a kin kinematic equation. So vi is zero times t plus a half and the acceleration is 3.2 and we don't know the time. Now these two equations, we'll just simplify that down, so that's 1.6 t squared, okay? Now of course we know that dA is equal to dB when the cars overtake, when, the, when uh, B overtakes A, so when they pass at that point. So therefore it's 45 t is equal to 1.6 t squared. This can be simplified so we cross off 1t and let's make that 1. And so therefore t will equal 45 divided by 1.6. And that works out to be about 28.125 seconds. So it's around about 28 seconds is when there's, when the, uh, the cars, when car B passes car A. Now the question, the next question for you is, What's the distance that's gone? And that's it's relatively easy because all you have to do is just replace the um, the time with twenty eight point one two five seconds, and I think the answer is uh, one two six five point six meters. So you can do it that way. This is for um, car A, and for car B you could do the same thing with the kinematic equation. And that's 0 plus a half times 3.2 times 28.125 seconds. And that also works out to be 1265.6 metres. That's for car B. Thanks very much.